This is Storm Track 12. And that winter weather is impacting us here this morning as well. You can see at the bottom of your screen, the ticker is crawling now with a bunch of two hour delays across the area. Those have been rolling in very quickly over the last five to 10 minutes. And here is why. Look at that image from our, our camera here atop the station. That snow accumulating very quickly. And of course, not so long ago, we saw some freezing rain and sleet also falling across the area. There's that wintry mess. It extends all the way down into Tennessee and the southeast. And and of course, expanding back up here into the Twin Tiers. And again, there's that very sharp dividing line going from west to east. Snowfall right now for many of us, but there's that mix we saw earlier on. Also, even a cold rain across portions of the Catskills. The rain is over with now. There's what's left of that mix in far eastern Delaware County of sleet and freezing rain in the pink and purple there. And now we are just dealing with the blues and grays of that steady snowfall. It is filling in across a good portion of the viewing area. But again, notice back to the west how quickly it is clearing. That is the good news. This snow is not going to be lasting all that long. Over the next two to three hours, we'll see that gradually wrap up and end here as we get further into the morning. There's those temperatures. We were in the 30s and 40s also only a few hours ago, but those temperatures have dropped very, very quickly now. We're into the lower and middle 20s, and that's going to be the main concern, not just the precipitation, but how quickly things freeze up on the roadways and sidewalks here as we go throughout the morning and again that's why you want to take it slow on the roads off to work here this morning because of that quick freeze that we are seeing in winds. They're going to start to pick up now as we get further into the day, allowing that very bitter cold air to start to fill in as we go further into the morning and afternoon. So again, here's what we are dealing with the rest of the morning here. That steady snow, it's going to be around for the next couple of hours, but very quickly wrapping up by the time we get into the middle of the morning. By 9 o'clock, we should be done with all of that precipitation. But again, the slick roads, because of that quick freeze, are still going to be a concern until those are Treated. Everyone certainly needs to take it slow out there here this morning. And again, that bitter cold is filling in. That's the next thing we're going to be watching for tonight. Wind chills are going to be dropping down below zero in some locations here. But the good news is after we get past this cold on Wednesday, things are going to be warming up and becoming much quieter then as we get towards the end of the week. Future tracks showing again the bulk of that snowfall should be actually to the east of Interstate 81 by the time we get to about 7 o'clock in the morning. So again, if you're west of I-81, you should be done with the snowfall by the time we get past sunrise here, but still dealing with that, especially through the Interstate 88 corridor here the rest of the morning. But everyone finally is in the clear by the time we reach 9 o'clock or so. Then some lake effect bands do set up with that breezy northwest wind as we go into the afternoon and overnight hours, but only expecting another inch or two of accumulation in some spots from these lake effect bands, but they're not going to be lasting all that long. Then as we get into your Wednesday, quieting down very, very quickly then, but some clouds try to make a return then as we head into Wednesday night. Here's the temperatures. This is the big thing we're going to be talking about. We might back bump back up into the middle and upper 20s later today, but after that, these temperatures are going to be free falling. We'll be back into the teens by the dinner hour, quickly down into the lower teens and even a few single digits by sun rise tomorrow morning and not recovering all that much tomorrow afternoon. We'll probably get back into the lower and middle 20s, but that is about it. And so it is going to be a cold next 36 to 48 hours. So certainly you're going to want to bundle up. And the big thing is those wind chills into the single digits by the time we get into the middle of the morning and look at this by tonight. We'll all be seeing wind chills potentially below zero or right near there as we get through the overnight hours tonight and into your Wednesday. So certainly going to want to bundle up and certainly be warm here over the next few days. The rest of the day today, again, we'll be in those 20s. The snowfall, it will be gradually wrapping up, though, thankfully, and just turning to that lake effect as we get further into the day there. And there's the improving conditions. Cloudy Thursday and Friday, but temperatures do recover back to near 40 degrees. Yeah, a cold one out there for sure. And as you mentioned, plenty of schools now on a two hour delay due to this forecast today. Yep, rightfully so here. Yeah, those, those roads are going to be a little bit slick until yep. they are treated. So yeah, definitely take it slow. Damon, thanks for the updates. The time now is 520 and coming up right after the